jump back to Kimi, his sociopath from Lost, but his character is much more gentle and sensitive and funny than I expected, and I think it was smart for him not to fall back on a part that was so much like one that he already played to great effect many, many years ago. Even though I felt like Radio Silence was returning to some familiar ground, I still think that Abigail is a solid horror film that borders on horror comedy and should be a great crowd watch should people turn up to see it. And I hope people do turn up to see it because one of the frustrating things about the box office downturn post-COVID is that so many people, and I've seen it in the comments, write it off to the fact that, well, Hollywood's not putting out any good movies. Hollywood is actually putting out good movies, and I think that Abigail is one of them. This is a great